day viewers welcome to various catering channel today i'm going to be showing us how to make a box that is a cake carrying box that box we normally use in carrying our cake to deliver to our clients that is to say today we're going back to craft and the, the materials i'm going to be using today is this fbb card or art card you can see it with me it's right here with me we're also going to be using this uh, pvc paper you can see it is a transparent one we're going to be using uhu gum i know most of us know this gum very well we call it uhu we're going to be using a ruler you can use a tape anyway but then i prefer to use this iron long ruler so we're also going to be using a scissors, a pencil, and then the most importantly, we are going to be needing a baseboard. Now this baseboard is what we are going to be using to take the measurement for our box. That is to say, if you are making an 8 inches cake, that is to say 10 inches board will carry 8 inches cake. Now, what you are going to be making in box will no longer be 8 inches cake box, but will be that particular board that will be carrying the 8 inches, which is 10 inches. Now, this board is 14 inches, and I'm going to be make, using it because I want to use it and carry 12 inches cake. Take note. So if you are working, if you want to uh, carry something like uh, 6 inches, you have to make a box of 8 inches base. That is the bottom. So that's what we are going to be doing today. So for now, because I have not really taken a good measurement of this, I had to know the proper measurement of this board before I start. Now you can see this is 15 inches. So I'm going to be using this measurement to measure 15 inches cake box. That is to say it will be carrying a cake of 13 inches. So now, I will set aside the box and then I will bring my FBB card and I will start with my measurements. Now, I want my FBB card to be four inches high. So if I am going to be measuring this 15 inches as the baseboard measurement, I'm going to be adding two inches this way, uh, right, two inches left, two inches front, sorry, I'm going to be adding four inches right, four inches left, four inches front, and four inches back, meaning that I'm going to be taking four plus 15 plus four. Now, the width and the length must be equal, take note of that. So if I'm taking 4 plus 5 plus 4, it will automatically give me, let's say, 8 plus 15, which is 23. So I'm going to be taking 23 by 23 in measurements. So now, I have my ruler on top of the FBB card. And I want to be taking my measurements, starting from 1, I have 23, and I will mark. And also going this way, to mark out 23. So this is 23. So I'm also going this way. So mark the same 23 that is remember the four sides are going to be 23 so I have 23 here and I will also measure to be sure that this is 23 Okay, I have 23 here. So 
So, the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to rule. You rule out to get the total measurement for that for this particular box. Give it a line. So now I'm going to mark out this place too. I'm using pencil because I wouldn't want the mark to show. I can, I can easily clean off the pencil when I am done. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to cut out the measurements. So now you can see, I now want to mark out the four, four inches that I added. So here now I have four inches. Remember I added four, four inches extra to enable me get the height of the box. And now here now, four inches. Again, I'll come this way. I do the same thing here. I mark out here four inches. And here again, I mark out four inches. So the next thing that I'll be doing is to rule. And then I will rule here again. Now I'm going to mark out the four, four inches this way too. So the next thing I'll do, I go ahead again and I mark out my four inches this way. Don't forget, it has to be all around the four corners. Come this way again, mark out my four inches. The opposite side of it too, I'll do the same thing. Mark out the four inches. And again here, which is the last part, I'll mark out the four inches. So I will rule again. I'll rule this place too. So if you take a look at what I'm doing, you'll be able to see that my base, the base of my cake is now at the middle, and these are the sides. This size will be folded up. So if I place my board, you'll notice that it's exactly the shape of the board you can see that so now this board if i do the, if after making this box it will help my cake it will not be shaking it will not be wobbling so that's why i decided to use the baseboard to get my base first this other size are the side that will be standing which is the height of the box now the next thing we are going to do is to cut we cut this way so now I will cut and I will stop at the T junction of the line. I cut here again. 
and I will stop at the T-junction of the line. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I, I go to the opposite side of it. I cut again, and it will take me to the T-junction, and I will stop. Again, the same thing I will do here. It will take me to the T-junction, and I will stop. So after that, now you get your UHU gum, the UHU gum. You get it ready, set it aside, and then using your ruler, you go to the line and fold. You come again this way, just the line, don't forget. And you fold. You come this line again. Always be sure that you are accurate. And you fold. Now you come to this way. Remember what I'm folding is the inner line. And you fold again. Now I folded all the lines. Don't forget, even the smaller ones have to be folded. This one also will be folded. This one too will be folded. Just as the lines are. Did the folding according to the line. Now, you can see, the next thing I'm going to do, I will apply my Uhu gum here at the back of these small, small parts. And then here, And then I come to this place. The same thing. All those parts. And then I close my UHU gum. I start. I raise this one up. I believe you are seeing what I'm doing. And then you close up. You raise this one. You close up. Raise this one up, you close up, and then you raise this one up the same way. Now we have been able to make our box. What is remaining now is the cover of the box, which is almost the same thing that we have done. So you can see the board, the board now has turned to a box. So the next thing we are going to do now is to make a cover for the box. Now for the cover, we want it to have two inches high, meaning that the total base will only be, we will only be adding two, two inches, all four corners. So instead of taking only 15 inches, which is the base, we are now going to add two plus 15 plus two, which is 19 inches total. Now we are going to cut out this board to be 19 by 19 inches. The total cardboard we are going to be using for the covering. So now, I will now cut. This is my 15 inches. Don't forget. Then I'm adding 2, 2, which is 19 inches. The same thing I'm going to do here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'll measure my 19 inches. I'll 
I will also measure this way because you have to be, be sure that you are correct. Okay, I have my 19 also here. And I have my 19 inches also here. So, I'm going to rule it out as usual. Remember the main box is 23 by 23 while the cover is 19 by 19. The total paper you will need to be making this cake box. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to cut. Now the next thing I will do is to map out my two two inches. Remember, I said that the cover is going to be having two inches high. I'm going to map out my two inches here. Then I'm going to map out here again. Mark out my two inches here again. Okay. The same way this other way. Two inches also this place this side two inches so I'm going to rule as usual what I did with the other one the other one I marked out for four inches but this one I'm marking out two two inches because it's just the cover Now, the same thing I'm going to be doing here, I have to mark out my two, two inches or so. Two inches here, and then two inches here. The same thing here, two inches. and then two inches. Remember, I will always rule. I will now rule. This ruling is to guide me for the folding of the the height okay so now the next thing is to fold although you can still cut before you fold and you can still fold before you cut. Whichever way, they will all work well. The same thing here. Remember I said just following the lines to be able to give me a straight fold with the help of my ruler I'm 
And then here. So the same thing I did, remember, I had to cut Come this way again and cut and Go to the opposite side and cut again Come here again and cut And after that I'll now take my UHU gum and we apply apply here the same thing on those small small parts all the small small parts cover it set it aside and then you start, you fold in this one and hold it down, okay? That is exactly what I did. Now, in some cases, some people would want to add some CM in order to help the cover enter very well. But I don't do that because I actually want the cover to grab the, the box very well. I don't want the box to be shaking inside the cover. So I decided to use exactly the same measurement I use for the base of the box, for the base of the cap. Now, you can see the box is ready. Now the box is ready. So you can see how beautiful the box is. So now, the next thing I'm going to be working on is the cover. I need to put um, PVC. Now, it could be a love shape, it could be a circle shape, it could be a rectangular shape, whatsoever shape you, love, you want to use. All you need to do is to get yourself a template. What I mean, something you can position and make you rule. Rule out the shape and then rule it out, place your PVC and you are good to go. Now, I've gotten a template I want to use for the cover. And the template I got here is 9.5 9.5 inches. If you check very well. So, it is 9.5 by 9.5. So, I'm going to be using it to place it on top of here. Place it on top of here. And then I'll make my rule. I rule out the templates. You can use anything. If you don't want to use the same the same card for the template, you can use anything. So now I've been able to mark it out and I'm now going to follow this place and cut, cut exactly, cut out exactly what I have just marked. And I use my razor to follow up the line. You can see it's going down. So. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to take my Uhu gum, that is UHU, and go round. Okay, and then set it aside first. Let it just be drying out a little, a little bit. And I will get my PVC. Now, this is my, this is my seed PVC. See, this is the template I used. For, for me to cut, I have to leave like one one inch apart all the four corners. 
then I will now cut that's the only way it can fit in you see that you can see that it's quite transparent I just hope you see it very well and then I'll take my PVC bring back the cover and then position it So you see, I have it now. So, and now close it again. Assuming you have put in your cake already, and um, you need to like, you know, design your box. I will still show you how you can put your ribbon and then design it. Now, as you may have placed my cake inside this place, and now I want to deliver, all I will do is to design it with your ribbon. Design it with your ribbon. Come here. And then I will apply a little of my UH U. Um, and then hold it down. And then cut off the excess. Just cut all this a little bit and then position it this way, and then I take another one, pass through this way, come again. it off a little bit because I don't want it to be too too long and then apply my UHU and then put it here okay then the next thing I'm going to do, I get my paper ribbon. I make a small bowl. Now get your ribbon. Hold it so and then knots. And then not very well. Straighten. Just remove all the rumple part of it. And then pull a little bit. Pull this one a little bit. And then go right here. And then tie it. Tie it this way also. Now remember this is a paper ribbon. If it is a cloth ribbon, you might decide to leave it like this. But if it is a paper ribbon, you can decide to tear it. So 
So now you can see that. You might decide to just tear it. The same thing here. And then here. The same thing here. And then at this point, you just cut off kind of V shape and they are good to go. You can imagine presenting this to your client with a cake. The client will be so happy. Isn't this beautiful? This is very beautiful. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, endeavor to do that and give me a thumb up if at the, at the end of this video you find it very lovely. Thank you. May God bless you all. Bye. Bye.